Hi, welcome to Alpha Militaria TV. My name is Richard Saunders. I'm down here again at Reading Air Target Shooting Club, uh, just outside Reading in Berkshire. And today I want to walk through um, one of the uh, high-end uh, premium rifles uh, on the market right now. Um, it's the Daystate uh, Wolverine R. Um, ranges in price from about 1,200 to 1,400 pounds, um, which is, you know, kind of top-end price for a, for an air rifle. Um, but it really is a very uh, a very good rifle, and in my opinion, worth the uh, worth the money. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk through um, some um, uh, features of the rifle, kind of from back to front, and then put it on the range and see how it shoots. Now the Wolverine um, has been in production for quite some time uh, with Daystate, um, and it's been through several uh, iterations. And right now there are uh, effectively two um, two versions to the gun. There's the uh, the Wolverine 2, which is an unregulated bolt action rifle, and then there is the uh, Wolverine R, which is what this is, uh, which is a side lever uh, regulated rifle. Now each one of those two different um, uh, uh, variances in the rifle um, come in four different models. So uh, each one has a, a C-type, which is the cylinder rifle, which has um, a very nice plastic shroud that covers the cylinder, really handsome looking rifle. Uh, then there's a B-type, which is a B for bottle, uh, which comes with a steel bottle, either a 400 or 500 cc bottle. Um, and then there is the highlight version, which is designated by the, uh, the carbon bottle. Uh, and then there is a, uh, a highlight uh, HP model for high power as well. So four different models for Wolverine 2 and four different models for the Wolverine R. Now this one as I say is the Wolverine R um, highlight with the um, the carbon bottle at the front. It's a 12 foot pound 177 rifle. Now these come in 177, 2225 and uh, 303 caliber. And um, so just to sort of walk through back to front um, standing at the back of the rifle, you have uh, an adjustable um, uh, shoulder pad. Um, it, it adjusts for height as also uh, for angle um, in three different directions, um, which is really great because it gives you perfect kind of shoulder fit. Um, and on this rifle, that's particularly important because there's no uh, ability to adjust the, uh, the cheek piece on this. And some people have um, criticized the Wolverine uh, because they say they can't quite get their head position right. Um, I have to say, I've never found it a problem. Uh, it fits me perfectly. Moving forward, um, you have all the Wolverines have this uh, thumb hole stock, um, and uh, the stocks are all made by Minelli of Italy. Uh, beautiful stocks. And there's checkering, uh, checkering on, the, on the pistol grip, which is also uh, molded for your fingers as well. And um, all the stocks are ambidextrous, and on top of the, the pistol grip up here, you have a couple of uh, indentations uh, for your thumb. So you can either shoot uh, thumb up, or you can shoot with your thumb wrapped around. Uh, and you can do that whether you're left-handed or right-handed as well. Now the trigger is a, a two-stage kind of post and shoe setup, um, which is uh, very adjustable. You can adjust the position of the shoe. You can adjust the, uh, the the two different stages for weight and length and what have you. Um, you have to take the stock off to adjust uh, the trigger. It's, it's easier with the stock with the stock taken off, and that's only one bolt. Um, the pistol grip gives you access to the safety catch, uh, which is located up here at the top of the breech, um, and that's a very simple um, slide on and off. Um, nice and kind of snickety, uh, you know, very positive movement. Uh, but you can operate it silently as well, which is important, obviously, if you're hunting. Above that, you have a side lever. Um, now, this is unlike some day state rifles that are uh, that have an electronic action. Um, the Wolverine are, is a mechanical rifle, so this will cock in a very kind of pleasant, sort of clunk click kind of way. Um, <clears throat> and um, this side lever can also be moved to the the left hand side of the gun. Uh, as well, if you're if you're left-handed or you know, that's your preference, the side lever operates uh, Daystate's proprietary 
10 shot magazine um, I'm a big fan of the day state magazines I think they're, they're, they're really good um, they cycle easily I've never had a problem with them um, and the combination of the trigger the side lever and the magazine is a real joy to use now in common with a lot of day state rifles possibly all of them um, the magazine sits proud of the action um, so you need to make sure when you're um, setting up your scope that you buy a set of mounts that will clear um, the, uh, the magazine. Um, but having said that, it's still very possible to get uh, a scope to fit nice and low uh, to the barrel. Um, there's more checkering on the, uh, the underside of the fore end here, um, which makes it very comfortable to use and that uh, checkering is, is indented as well. And um, this is the, uh, the Forrester laminate stock, which is a blend of kind of browns, greys, blacks. Um, very, very um, attractive to look at and very good in, uh, for hunters as well. It really blends into the environment. Now you can also get a grey laminate stock version of this as well and obviously uh, the traditional walnut stocks as well. Each one is exactly the same um, um, design as this. Um, and uh, the Wolverine 2 has a, very, has a very similar stock too. Now the barrel is a Lothar Walther barrel. Uh, it's fully shrouded uh, and in actual fact it's, it's pretty quiet. Um, but if you put a, uh, a silencer on the front of this, um, then I have to say this is probably one of, the, one of the quietest rifles I've ever used. It really is whisper quiet as you'll see in a little while. Now the bottle on the front here, is, as I say, it's a carbon bottle. It's a 480cc bottle. Um, and gives you plenty of shots. Now in terms of shot range, um, the the steel bottle B type, um, they say it will quote a, a shot count of, believe it or not, 600 shots uh, for a 2.2 uh, at 12 foot pounds, slightly less for a 177, you know, which is just phenomenal because you know, you're talking about more than a tin of pellets. And um, for the, the carbon bottled um, highlight models, uh, again, 12 foot pounds 2 2, you're looking at 500 shots um, per fill, which is quite impressive. Now, if I turn this around, you can see here that there are a, a couple of, of gauges. You have a gauge for, uh, for the fill pressure, and you also have a gauge for the regulator. And it's the regulator that sets um, the Wolverine R uh, apart from the, uh, from the Wolverine 2. Now, uh, a lot of manufacturers are using, are putting regulators into their guns right now, uh, and for good reason. The best way to describe um, a regulator is, um, think of it as like the optic on a bottle of whiskey in a pub. So if you go to, a, go to the pub and ask the bar person for a whiskey, they put the glass underneath the bottle, push the optic, and that lets out uh, a very specific measured amount of whiskey. Um, the regulator on a, on a regulated rifle is much like that optic. So think of the, the carbon bottle as your bottle of whiskey. The regulator is your optic. And what that means is that regardless of the fill pressure in your main reservoir, that bottle of air, um, the regulator will always have the same volume of air at the same consistent pressure all the time. So that's what uh, gives you that very, very high shot count uh, and also means that uh, the shot to shot consistency uh, in terms of muzzle velocity is very very consistent as well. Now filling the rifle is, is very easy too. On the underside here um, there is a, a, a magnetic cap that just pulls off and then there's a male phosphor fitting, uh, there's a male probe there so a phosphor fit goes straight on top of that, um, connects up uh, and, and uh, you can fill up from there. Now day state rifles um, all tend to vary in terms of, of their fill pressure, you know, even rifles in this, of the same model, the same range, will have a slightly different uh, fill pressure. And um, on the other side, uh, I'll show you this in close up a little bit later, um, there's a little um, disc here that gives you the fill pressure uh, for your rifle, and this one is a, is a 250 bar fill. Um, I've seen some of them go down to about 190. Um, and they're usually in that sort of 200 to 230, 250 range, but just check on the, the side of the rifle that you've got. 
the fill pressure won't make any difference to the shot count that you've got. Um, so that's the rifle. Um, I'm going to put some, uh, some pellets in it, show you how to load the magazine, and then we'll take a few shots down the range and see how accurate it, how accurate it is. Right, just to talk through the, uh, the Daystate magazine, and this is a pretty much the same magazine on nearly all their rifles. Um, you can see here, hopefully, that there's a, a U-shaped uh, indent um, on the magazine. That's, that's where you need to put your pellets in nose first. It's just a case of putting them in the hole, then uh, turning the drum round anti-clockwise to reveal the next hole putting them in, turning it round like so takes 10 pellets oops there we go, that's all the 10 in and then the magazine itself uh, is installed by uh, you need to pull back the side lever then the magazine goes in from the left hand side of the rifle straight into the breech and uh, it's magnetized so what you'll find is the magazine will kind of pull itself in to position with the magnets just slots in straight in from the left hand side then return the bolt um, and then you're ready to shoot um, now you can um, modify the magazine by taking out a, a pin at the back of it and moving it uh, to the other side uh, if you prefer to install the the magazine in from the right hand side. As I said before I'm down at uh, Reading Air Target Shooting Club just outside Reading um, using their range here. Uh, it's a lovely little club. Um, they've got eight lanes of 30 meters and another half a dozen or so lanes of uh, 55 meters all covered in this nice gallery. Um, the nice secure back uh, backstop uh, and there's a 10 meter uh, pistol range here as well. So um, I'm gonna I'll put a target out at 30 metres and I'm going to see um, how we can group at 30 metres. It's a little bit blustery, get my excuses in early, um, but hopefully uh, we should do okay. Now, I neglected to say before that um, a couple of key things with this rifle. One is that um, you can't double load it. Once you've cycled a pellet and cocked the rifle, it doesn't matter how many times you pull the side lever, you're not going to put more than one pellet up the spout. So that's a really good feature. The other thing is, in terms of FAC ratings, um, the high-powered uh, versions of this, uh, the Wolverine 2, the bolt-action non-regulated rifle, that goes uh, from 18 foot-pounds uh, in 177 right up to an eye-watering 100 foot-pounds uh, in .303 calibre. Um, the Wolverine R goes from 18 foot-pounds uh, in 177 up to 60 foot-pounds in 303 calibre and obviously different uh, powers uh, in between um, but this rifle is 177 12 foot-pound legal limit so let's see how it shoots Well, that's not bad at all. Um, that's using Air Arms Diablo uh, 4.52 pellets, um, and that's a nice, you know, one hole group at, uh, at 30 meters. Uh, I have to say, I don't find the Wolverine Arms to be particularly pellet, uh, pellet fussy either. So, uh, yeah, pleased with that.
Well, thanks for watching. Uh, that's the uh, the Day State Wolverine R. Uh, if you're interested in more information on uh, the Wolverine R and indeed um, any of the other rifles in the Day State range, then please have a look at our our website www.alphamilitaria.com where you'll find a complete rundown of not only of this rifle but the whole series and lots of other good information as well. Thanks for watching.